All right. <clears throat> so for today's tutorial, um, I've kind of been wanting to make this one for a really, really long time, but I kind of procrastinated and then not had time. So now I do have time. Anyways, um, I wanted to show you guys how to make um, like fabric corsages. Um, these are kind of like multi-purpose. Like you can wear them, um, you know, on your like your your chest, like a pin, like a brooch. You could change it up and add like a a comb in the back and wear it as like a little hair piece or hat. Um, I mean, you can you could put a, a, a elastic band on it, use it for prom, wear it on your wrist or whatever. So it's kind of like multi-purpose. But the one I'm gonna make here, um, we're just gonna sew like a safety pin on the back, so that way you could pin it to your jacket or whatever. So um, I like the way these came out. It's just something I started doing with scraps because I kind of hoard fabric and I don't like to throw things away, um, especially like little notions and things like that. So there's, these are some examples of, of what I've made. Um, this one's just like an old earring piece and then this one has like an old bracelet attached to it. Didn't want to do too much to this one because the, the fabric already has little designs on it and stuff. And this one's pretty plain. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do like a techie galactic version of one. Um, this is a silver costume pleather. <clears throat> and what we're going to do first, how we start it out, is that we're going to, depending on how big you want it, as you can see this one is smaller than this one, it's just depending on how thick, um, you know, the, the width is. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I don't plan on making it that big. So I'm going to do about three and a half in the width and that includes my seam allowance. I'll just, you know, include that. So in actuality, it's about, you know, two, two and a half inches wide once I'm done with it. So I'll do three and a half. I'll do this whole length, which is a little, as you can see, a little more than a foot. I'll just do that. I mean, it, there's no exact science to it. I mean, you could just do whatever length you want, as long as it's about maybe eight inches long and you can do a couple of them depending on how how puffy and thick you want your corsage to be. So I'll, I have this double, you know, double folded or whatever, or overlapped. So I'm gonna do three strips of the three and a half width, um, all the, the same length as this um, piece that I cut out here. I'm gonna sew them uh, right sides together, turn them inside out, and then I'll show you how to do the next part. Okay, so I got my three strips done. Now you have to do this by hand. Can't figure out how you would do it with a machine. It has to be done with uh, needle and thread. But um, here, let me set this down so you can see exactly what I'm trying to do here. Holy crap, okay. So, you're going to take one end and thread it through. Make sure you have a nice knot on the end. So that way when you go through it doesn't come apart. And then you take your second one. Well, actually not yet, the second one, I'm sorry. And then you'll kind of loosely, I guess if you want to call it, baste it in a way. So that way it starts to gather, makes like little ruffles. So kind of just, you know, over and under, over and under. And keep pulling it. Uh, I can't see because my thread matches my fabric. Okay. So you're just going to pull it and then it's going to start to gather. And you're going to do that for all of them. When you come to the end, you're just going to attach the next piece to it and again go over and under, over and under. And then you want to start forming like a circle with them as you ruffle. And that'll start turning into your uh, corsage piece. So let me do half of it and then I'll show you, I guess, the last part of the structure of it. Okay, so I decided to do two because I'm happy with the size on the two. So you pretty much, when you connect both of them and you pull the string, you end up with something like this, like this spirally thing. So what you're going to do is, oh, sorry, I have this one handy. you got to kind of 
form it in a circle. Oops. And then you have to hand stitch, hand stitch it together. Hold on, let me do this a little bit better one. Okay. See, so I, you know, you gotta form it into like a circle and then you end up with something like this. Of course, I'm holding it with my fingers. You'll have to form it, pin it, and then stitch the ends together. And then of course, if you have little, if you wanna, you know, make it a little more, you might wanna stitch one side down to the back side, you know, make it secure so that way nothing springs out and it holds that circular shape, this, this shape. So you have to hand stitch it and hold it there. And then once, once you do that, you're pretty much done. And then you can get whatever decorations you have and you can sew on. Here I did some beading and I, you know, whatever. Like I usually use scraps of buttons and stuff that don't have another one, you know, just kind of, I collect the stuff. So I had, I put a feather in this one. You know, you just sew it on and then if you want, like I said, here I'm doing a, a safety pin because it's going to be to worn, be worn like on a jacket, but you can always add um, a comb in the back. Wear it as a hairpiece, you know, again, put elastic, wear it on your wrist, like a corsage for prom or whatever. Uh, but pretty much that's it. Um, with this one, what I'm doing, um, I'm just going to decorate it with some broken circuit board pieces and, and spray paint them silver and put some little, you know, silver gems on it, maybe a couple chains. Just, you know, real simple stuff, scraps that I have. Again, I don't like to waste anything, so those scraps are going to be used on these these corsages um, you know subscribe or whatever if you like like this I'll be doing some more tutorials this summer and um, a couple costume tutorials um, in, the ne in the next coming months because this is my busy Halloween season August through October so uh, stay tuned I'm making a lot of stuff alright see ya bye